guys, this week I wanted to do a little bit of a different approach on Absinthe and I am trying to make a sound just uh, on the fly so I don't know what I want to make yet and I don't have a patch that I'm going to explain but I thought maybe this way you can see better um, what the thought process is uh, when making a new patch or a new sound and um, I thought it would be kind of interesting, so I don't know the end results yet, but um, I'm sure it's gonna be okay. Um, and I've made a melody, and I'm pretty glad with the melody uh, so far. This is my um, top line, the top melody. And then I have my uh, sort of chords under that. And I, uh, I, I like this melody, but first let's work on the uh, top sound. At this point I just have um, a single wave, which is a filtered saw. And then I already uh, have set up one interesting thing, and that is this cloud filter. And the cloud filter is sort of a mini etherizer effect that you can find here in the effects section. And um, I pulled the transpose down minus 12, so the grains are going to be trans transposed uh, octave down and then I set the rate to 80 to give it more of a reverb kind of sound and I can pull that down. Or up. And then I've inserted a filter. sync that to uh, minor sevenths and I just messed with these settings a bit and then what I did is I modulated the balance um, so now it's set to a hundred percent wet but when you go to the envelopes you can see that I um, that is that is just a wet sound at the very beginning and then it gets dry and you can hear that when I change the slope So now it's all the cloud filter and now it's almost all the original sound. So we can choose a nice in between. And then maybe... So we just add a little bit of um, a little bit of extra, and then in the effect I already set up um, an echo, which is just a delay, and I beat synced it to 0.5, so that will be eight notes. We can make it 16. This is whole notes. But this I like this. Let's set it to whole notes. And let's turn the wet a little bit down and dry up. And we can insert more uh, more delays. So in here we set the panning, so I have one all the way to the uh, right, one all the way to the left, and the other one uh, center. Okay, and then let's mess with the amp envelope a bit.
now some um, oscillator effects and are some rather some wave waves effects and I really like to experiment with these and I mean all these one and we have a normalize which um, makes the, the loudest point of the wave almost 0 dB so that will be I think about the same as when you do this then we have the DC offset it um, offsets the the, the points where the wave crosses this uh, zero line um, offset phase we have and we have invert phase first the wave the reverse a mix and I really like mix because here you can choose another wave that you want to mix with um, the original wave so let's experiment with that <laughs> And we can choose the uh, the phase of the second wave and the frequency ratio. I like this one, very bright. Then we have uh, the rings filter, which is sort of a formant filter. And we have a normal filter. So let's try band pass. And we have our FM options and this is really great. So we're, here we have the frequency of the modulator. Of, uh, sorry, of the carrier, and this is the modulator. So the modulator would be this wave um, that you can choose here. I'm going to choose a, a triangle. And the index is um, sort of the amount, the amount that the modulator modulates the carrier. Okay, that's good enough for now. And uh, we can try the guitar rig on there. Assume. I'm just assuming that you have um, the other native instrument uh, modules since you have Epstein. So we can try this and we can try some presets here. Maybe go to styles, ambient. Okay, and I like this one. I'm just gonna do one thing. I'm gonna insert, um, let's see, where can I find that? I'm gonna insert the splitter here, and I'm gonna drag these modules in the middle, uh, like that. So you want to make sure they are all between split A and the split B and now we can mix the dry and the wet. So it's not as extreme. So this is dry and this is wet. Okay, just giving it a little bit of extra. 
and then for our other sound. I'm gonna keep it pretty simple, insert a filter here. try on this one in the effects I'm gonna choose native instruments where are you absent effects Just, I'm just showing you how to work with these these effects as an insert rather than in the plugin and the cool thing is now that you can um, use multiple absent uh, effects because normally inside the synthesizer you can only use one but now we can just load up another module and for this one let's say we take the pipe effect and for the other one let's choose the um, eaterizer Just another filter here. And this one is a little bit too muddy, so and then the last cool thing. Now we have one envelope that's um, plucky, so that's the first one for solo, just this sound. So that is this envelope, and we have another envelope that's sustaining more. And we can make one, um, one other one that is sustaining but a bit higher um. maybe a band pass filter here and an L pass to let it phase a little bit
we can modulate this with um, maybe sort of a slow envelope it's gonna be more like an um, LFO a little bit of a softer attack Yeah, I like that. So yeah, that's uh, a short demonstration of how I go about uh, making sounds and I'm not afraid to use anything that I have, like this guitar rig, even though it's a guitar rig, you don't need a guitar to use it. And um, I use the absent effects a lot and um, just um, experiment with a lot of stuff, different absent, different effects and um, especially the oscillator effects here if you, if you haven't done that yet. Um, in the wave window and then transform all this stuff is really great so uh, thanks I'll see you next week